everybody, and welcome to episode 94 of the Let's Play World. I'm just hanging out over here on the bridge between the village and our base, admiring our build from the last episode. This mix of modern and ruined on this diagonal with the potion brewing space. It's just a really cool build. And I've been giving a little bit of thought about what to do across the road here in this green space. Right here, there's kind of a curve, you know, in the road. And if this curve was complete, like if it went all the way around in a circle, this would be a circle with a circumference of about 42. So what I'm thinking is we could do the same kind of thing and do a inner circle and then use that as kind of our template for the building. Show you what I mean. So this circle here would be about 36 across and you can see how there's kind of a nice green space around the edge, but we could make basically like a building here. Kind of show you what I'm talking about. Like here we've put a circle, kind of lines up against this circle. That looks kind of cool. And we could build something like, you know, a monument or we could let, you know, something in 1.19 kind of guide us. Might push it back a little farther from the road just so it's sitting out there a little bit. Since we kind of have a little bit of a graveyard, a monument or a memorial or something like that might be kind of cool. But I'm open to ideas. So yeah, if you have some ideas, let me know what you're thinking. Today, the main focus is going to be on the city project. What we are going to do is we are going to try and finish out this main drag here. So as we walk this way, we sort of leave the village and then we head into the city. And what I want to do is I want there to be buildings on both sides of the street all the way down. Now, what I might do is just do facades to start. So just the fronts and then between episodes I can add, you know, the backs to the buildings and all that. But this is what I'm hoping to do today. Oh, and by the way, I did look for my ender chest. I flew around kind of where I've been building and stuff like that. No idea where it is. So either I accidentally broke it and I just don't remember or it is inside of the walls of something or hidden somewhere. So I'm just going to make another one. Okay, now that we've got an ender chest, I've got some materials, let's get to work on the city.
layout here, you can see what I'm kind of thinking for that monument idea. And then as we turn back around towards the city... Yeah, that looks really good. Even though the buildings aren't completely done, you can see how it really just fleshes things out. And you can really see what we need to focus on. So like right here, across the street from the church and the hotel, another building here would really sell it. Down this street, you know, another building here. And then of course, once we start building down that street over there, the city's gonna look really, really massive. Let me show you guys some of what I did here. Again, it's just facades, just fronts, so definitely not done. This first building here, the really tall one, I did this very kind of jagged, bumpy front here, and I think it adds a lot of kind of old school character, you know, like a an old building. I think that's pretty cool, and I like this kind of decorative element here with the stone. I think that looks really good. This one next door is quite a lot more modern. I used some gray concrete, some acacia wood, terracotta, and I think that looks great as well. See, this guy here is just a little skinny gray building, so not a lot going on, but I think it does the job of anchoring this corner. It looks sort of like a government building or a bank or something like that. This one, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, so I didn't record it, but it's coming along. I, I wasn't sure about the really kind of bright blue or the diorite, to be completely honest, but it's different, and I think I like that. Next door is just a little brick building to kind of transition us into the village. Here, I went with something a little darker, so a lot of deep slate and some red windows. It looks kind of, kind of spooky and menacing. And then this building here, I just did some browns and purples. And it looks like a nice little modern office building. And again, a nice transition here into the village. You know, again, a lot of the sides aren't in, but as we start walking down, you can really just see how much more just full and alive this feels. It's going to be really awesome once we get it all built out. I would definitely like to do more ground level stuff. So, you know, we do have some entryways and things like that, but here we've got the coffee shop. Eventually here we will have a little scale model of our city. We definitely could do something here in the base of the Empire State Building. And then over here, I've got a couple of windows. I was thinking about doing something like a showroom or we've had Honda Civic on our wall, and like a little car showroom might be kind of cool. Lots of options. Lots of cool things we can do. Just want to do one more kind of long look here. Yeah, it looks so good. Really happy with how it's coming along. To wrap things up, we should probably add something to our zoo today. I figure we could probably do something just easy. There's a couple of them that are going to be really simple. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our pig got a pig friend. Zoo's doing the work for us. That is crazy. I feel like bees would be pretty easy. And then, you know, maybe sheep. I've seen a couple of them running around as well. Over at my bee farm, I do have a couple of nests that should have some bees in them. And if we grab one of those, we could probably just run that over to the zoo. And that would be another exhibit down. Let's see here. Hello, bees. They're all kind of out here. I think this one has stuff in it. Let's find out. Okay, let's see how this goes here. Set this down. It has bees in it. I think I hear buzzing. There are bees in it. 
Nice. So now we've got bees and we've got pigs. We are off to a great start. And you might have noticed around the perimeter, I've started to build a wall. It's not fancy, but it is effective. It is a couple of blocks tall, so things on the outside can't climb in. That way we won't get any mobs sneaking in and uh, blowing things up. You might also notice I've added a few trees and some tall grass and that kind of thing to make it look a little bit more wild and uh, inviting. I think it looks really, really nice. Well, we might as well grab a chicken since I found one. Uh, now we got a chicken. Chicken number two. Oh, and chicken number three. There we go, three chickens. So now we have bees, and we have pigs, and we have chickens. Fantastic. Last episode, we were talking a little bit about the music that I write for the channel, and a few of you were interested in hearing more about it and being able to listen to it. So what I'm gonna do is in an episode or two, just do some mining. I'll have a mining episode and I'll just play a bunch of the music and talk a little bit about it. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, clean them up a little bit, do a little bit of remixing and mastering, and I'm gonna post them on Apple Music and Spotify so you guys can listen to them whenever you want. That'll probably take me a couple of weeks, but I will keep you posted on that. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.